On this Life in Bama, I'm going to take you to 10 of the best places in Birmingham to visit for free. Number 10 is the Birmingham Public Library, Lynn Henley Building. Now this building was built in 1927 and it has these wonderful murals that are painted on the walls. The architecture is also very interesting to look at. There's a crosswalk on the third floor that will take you across 21st Street. The central branch of the library was built in 1984. Number 9 is Avondale Park. Avondale Park is a historical park. It has an amphitheater, a very nice lake, and a walking trail that goes all the way around it. It's just perfect for an afternoon stroll. Number eight is the Birmingham Museum of Art. This is one of the finest regional museums in the United States, and it houses a diverse collection of more than 27,000 paintings, sculpture, prints, drawings, and decorative arts dating from the ancient to the modern times. Number seven is Railroad Park. This park is located in the heart of Birmingham. It features a large lake and plenty of large lawn areas to throw frisbees, play football, and have family activities. It also has a trail for biking and walking that goes around the entire park. Number six is the Negro Southern League Museum. The Negro Southern League was created in 1920 by a group of African American businessmen and baseball enthusiasts. From 1920 until its demise in 1951, the Negro Southern League served as a feeder route for many great black baseball players to go to the Negro American League and Negro National League. Number five is the Birmingham Botanical Gardens. There are so many things to see at the Botanical Gardens. They have a conservatory, the Rose Garden, the Japanese Garden. It's just a great place to walk around and enjoy the beautiful sights. Number four, Sloss Furnaces National Historic Landmark. Sloss Furnaces was one of the largest manufacturer of pig iron in the world and it stands today just as it did in the late 19th century. It was the longest continually running blast furnace in Birmingham's history. Number three, the Rotary Trail. The Rotary Trail is a rails to trails project that stretches from 20th Street to 24th Street on 1st Avenue South in Birmingham. A walk along the trail is unique and it gives you a great view of the city scenes. Number two is the Vulcan Trail. The Kiwanis Vulcan Trail is the center of Greater Birmingham's growing Red Rock Trail system. This trail follows the bed of the Mineral Railroad, which ran alongside Red Mountain. Walking this trail allows you to have beautiful views of the city. If you're from Birmingham, you probably think, oh, I know what she's gonna to pick to be number one. She's gonna pick that Iron Man on the hill. But today, my first pick, I'm gonna to surprise you. 
it is here at Rickwood Field. What's so great about Rickwood Field is you can come here on a beautiful day, come right over here and take a self-guided tour brochure and give yourself a self-guided tour. This historical ball field is the oldest ball field in our nation. It is over 100 years old, being built in 1910. Many famous players have played on this field, including Ty Cobb, Babe Ruth, Shoeless Joe Jackson, Dizzy Dean, and Stan the Man Musil. The Negro Southern Leagues played here also. Satchel Paige, Lorenzo Piper Davis, Willie Mays, they all played here. Rickwood Field has been immortalized in film several times. It was featured in the movie Cobb, also Soul of the Game, and the movie 42, the story about Jackie Robinson. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And after you subscribe, please click on the bell so you'll receive notifications when I've uploaded new content. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.